My name is Eddie Toffbeck. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Service International Limited. And here is your weekly technical analysis of LME 3 month lead and tin. I'll start with LME 3 month lead. Lead was the only one of the four metals I cover on my weekly charts to not have a weekly key reversal down two weeks ago. Hence, lead had some special attention paid to it last week to see what makes it different. The first thing you see is how comforting it is to see once again the market still keeping within the May to October 2020 bullish shift pitchfork. Now this time moving up from the support of the big old 50% Fibonacci line of the February 2018 to March 2020 move at 2127 through the middle time and that's currently at 2166 and out of the narrowing range over May and June that had effectively become a descending triangle morphing possibly into a bullish halfway hesitation. The base of this action is around the previously mentioned 50% Fibonacci line. Now with the added support of the rising short medium moving average currently at 2157. The top side had been capped with decreasing highs. Initially by the 50% Fibonacci line on the June to October 2018 move at 2221. But more recently by a short downtrend from the start of May currently 2206. This defined what was going on. Then last Thursday prices punched up and closed over the downtrend. Then Friday prices did the same to the 50% Fibonacci line at 22.21 and yesterday a defining move higher with a key reversal up above both of those. Leading today's strong move higher into fairly clear air over the combination of the May high at 22.58 and the October 2018 high at 22.62. Okay, so let's look forward. Before last week, I had thoughts this might have elements, this action might have elements of a large bull flag struck halfway hesitation type action. But last week I laid off forcing the issue or calculating a move up, other than a speculative idea that it might be in the 2380s. Overall, I'm thinking more that this idea might now have a lot of merit. Thus, I'll place a target X1 in the 2371 area to give a conservative target for such a pattern. I've also mentioned uh, over a number of weeks two other possible patterns. The second idea was a cup with handle pattern. You see the action over late February even till now looks promising and suitable as a bullish cup with handle pattern. I was worried about the excessive height and recent wide action however I was confident enough last week to place a potential target X in the 2351 area. I still stand by that analysis. So those are the opportunities on the upside. Now a recent descending triangle pattern which has a slightly more bullish bias but had a chance to break either way a large bull flag stroke halfway hesitation pattern and a bullish cup with handle pattern. Now just to go back to the descending triangle pattern. It had been early last week because the triangle hadn't been broken so I could not give an idea of a which way was the move and B how much it should move by because the measurement has to be taken from the break in the trend line. I could only have done that really on Friday. However taking this move up as a confirmed bullish move from this descending triangle potential top, top side target would have been in the 2275 area an area that has already been reached. This sort of thing sometimes happens when a move is so fast that, but it helps the other patterns already mentioned that the first target, the one of the descending triangle, has already been achieved on the upside. LME 3 month tin. As I've already mentioned in my video on LME 3 month nickel, zinc, and to a certain degree on lead, you would already know that the main feature from two weeks ago was a trio of weekly key reversals down in LME 3 month tin, nickel, and zinc. In many ways the action here in zinc was the least most damaging to the overall bullish incentive. It still thrives. The original move back up which started some 16, yes 16 weeks ago, translated to a higher level some 9 weeks ago when prices moved up over the middle time, currently 3665 and reached up towards the upper time above, currently 33045, with the January to March bullish shift pitchfork. This tied in nicely with a point I made seven weeks ago by looking at the November 2020 to late February 2021 action as one leg of a type of bullish halfway hesitation. 
We then had a target in the 31,250 area. You can see that the market reached the target three weeks ago and indeed overshot it. It is from this overshoot that the weekly key reversal down was generated two weeks ago. Additionally, overhead resistances, which started to accumulate above the market from 32,100 onwards, helped, I'm sure, to tip the market over. Now there is one crucial thing to remember here and why I stated right at the start that the action last week here was the least most damaging, well two weeks ago, was the least most damaging to the bullish incentive. That is that we are still within and nicely within the same bullish shift pitchfork that moved prices up from the 23,000 area back in March up to where we are now. Until this pitchfork is broken or amended then it will still govern the bullish incentive. That is why this market is the least affected by the trio of weekly key reversals down that we saw in the metals and why, after a period of reflection, moving along the middle time, gently upwards I, I point out, we saw a huge move last Thursday of a combined key reversal up, bullish engulfing pattern and bullish closing white marabozo and a strong bullish engulfing pattern yesterday with today making a bullish opening white Maraboso as well. Now, please remember this. This current move up is in fairly free territory up until the high of June at 31,850. Now, 31,850 is not the resistance. No, 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 no. The resistance actually caused that high to happen at 31,850. It is a stratified higher level from 32,100 up to 32,985 with another layer at 33,475. That will be the true obstacle. The bullish shift picture will have to deal with and right now I'm not certain what the outcome will be there. Thank you for listening. This weekly broadcast gives the essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted with this broadcast. Copyright is Eddie Topic and ADM Investor Service International Limited. And here comes the final bit.